Welcome back to the Gemini Archives. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Lord loves to start the episode and not tell me when. You can hear me click. Not really. Well, shit. Well, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that 10 second clip of me clearing my throat. <laughs> this is Throat, brought to you by Megan. Throat. <laughs> Ugh. I know. I know we mentioned it before. I don't like bodily sounds, but, you know, here we are making bodily sounds. Sorry, I have like a body. Like humans do. Yeah. Sorry, I have a body and sometimes sounds come out of it. <clears throat> oh, God almighty. This is why you shouldn't be fucking doing that. I know. Now I sound like shit. It's okay. Well, we're back. We're here and not queer. Not queer. We're just, you know. Who have, came up with that saying? I don't. Was, someone, it a, was it a queer man that came up with that saying? Or I, I would, I would like to think so because if it was somebody straight, nothing makes sense to me anymore. I know. Speaking of which, did you hear about Bert and Ernie? Apparently, yeah, they're like a gay couple. I'm apparently. like, who the fuck cares? I know. It's like, what year is it? How long has Sesame Street been around? Why do we care now? I know. Um, well, people can interpret however they want to. Well, no kidding. But this is how I put it to someone who. Um, they shared the article on Facebook. I was, what did I say? All I said was, no, they can't be gay because gay men would never dress as hideous as they do. Oh yeah. It's just the primary colors. Yeah. Oh, the disgusting, like <laughs> red and yellow and blue with blue pants. Oh, <laughs> it's too primary <laughs> gay men. And it's not, it doesn't fit right. It's not cinched at the waist cinched, <laughs> and it doesn't hug the body. They don't care. I know. Anyway. Well, <laughs> either that's, way. That's me justifying Is that your chair it. making that noise? What? Oh, yeah, it is. I was like, what is that noise? I thought it was coming from downstairs. Oh, yeah, that oh, is my chair. Oh, it's squeak. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize my chair was squeaking. No, it's fine. It wasn't that loud. So I was like, what is going on? Dude, <laughs> everything I own fucking breaks. I know. Like, my phone, I don't know what's going on with it, but... Like, the... Like, I'm showing you. You can't see at home. Press 1 if you would like to see this riveting content. And we'll film it Why for do you. we tell people to press 1? This is, like, not a radio show. <laughs> so my phone is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, the little hole where the charger... I have an iPhone 7 Plus. So, like, it has one hole you could put, like, the charger and your headphones in. It's got a cloaca, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes in and out of one hole. Um... The hole, it's like, it's not as... God, there's no way to say this without sounding sexual, so I'm just going to say it. It's it's too loose. Like, every time I put something in, it just falls right out. It's like a I, whore I after Labor no Day. no comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. I'm like, what is happening? Why is this happening to me? Ugh. How could this happen to me? That's my favorite video on the internet. It's that simple plan in the background as, um... It was a guy at an airport, a baggage claim, and his... I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. Probably a girl, honestly. I hope her, it was a girl. Her, like, four-inch thick and, like, 12-inch long black dildo is on the fucking baggage claim thing that spins all around <laughs> just by itself. I'm sure people have seen it, but if you have it, it's, like, the best 14-second video out there. Oh, man. Oh, my God. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lauren. That would be your favorite video. I would do that, honestly, as like a joke. I would, oh, I would just leave it on there and just be like, let's see if someone fucking notices or does anything about <laughs> I it. I know. If somebody took it, I would lose my shit. I know. It's like, how do people get that off of there? Someone had to touch it. Ew. I know. Ew. No, it's probably still there. It's still circulating. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't found its way home yet. <laughs> it's like, help me. Get me off this thing. <laughs> Oh, man. We have fun here at the Gemini yeah, Archives. So what were we just talking about? I don't about? even remember. I'm going to listen back to this and be so mad at myself. I know. What the fuck were we just saying? Oh. This is why it's bad to do episodes when I first wake up. I know. Megan, it's almost two. No, it actually is two o'clock in the afternoon. Don't tell me how to live my life. Time is a social construct. <laughs> So, we just had Oreos. Ugh. Just now, the Halloween ones. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Halloween Oreos. Tell me why. 
the Halloween Oreos are like superior to every other Oreo. They're superior. I, I know. I don't think they're any different or the flavoring's any different, but like it's just the fact that it's orange. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know what it, it like is. tricks the mind into thinking it's better, I guess. I know. I don't know what Oh, I remember what we were talking about. What? My phone is loose and gaping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a whore phone. Every oh that's right. I was saying everything I owed fucking breaks. Uh-huh. Like what do I, I'm going to have to get a new phone because I mean, it'll charge, but like if I move my phone while it's in the charger, it'll just fall right out. I'm like, what the fuck? And I, I have no words. I know. And God forbid I try to, you know, listen to something with headphones on my phone. It just like comes unplugged like 17 times. I'm like, <laughs> it's so frustrating. I'm like, after a while, I just don't even use the headphones. You know what um, bewilders me though is I don't know if you've ever seen the iPhone reviews. Not iPhone, but it was on Apple's <clears> website <throat> for the... Because now, if you have an iPhone that's iPhone, I think, 6 or later, or iPhone 7 or later, it doesn't have a headphone jack, so you have to get the adapter to listen to headphones and shit. The fucking reviews on there are people who are like, yeah, mine died within, like, a week because I kept it all shriveled in my pocket while I was jogging. Well, dumbass. Well... <laughs> Take care of your shit. I know. It's like how people destroy their chargers. I'm like, I've had the same iPhone charger since I got my iPhone over a year ago. And it has not frayed or bent or anything. Because I take care of my shit. Well, I know. Like, I mean, honestly. <sighs> like, people are just so rough with their technology. And it's I just mean, like, dude. I wasn't being rough. It's just like, I don't know why that happened. I know. Well, that's weird. Because just, I've you don't really hear about that, but... Take care of your shit. Well, no kidding. You know, like, I've had the same charger for a while now. It hasn't shit the bed. I know. So have I. And I have that same adapter that came with my iPhone 7 since I got it. Yeah. I know. How are people so destructive? I know. Because they slam it in their pockets when they're jogging. Or they just throw it around or bend it all over the place. And it fucking gets, you know, it's destroyed. Like, what logic is it where it's like, hey... This thing costs me, like, hundreds of dollars. I should probably destroy the shit out of it. Well, I know. Maybe that's just me being picky and, like, I don't know. Well, no, it's just you being responsible. Well, I know. It's like, I don't, you know, use my phone while it's in the charger. I take it out of the charger before using it. That's half the reason why that shit happens. Well, yeah, because if you use it while it's in the charger, it fucks up the battery life. And yeah. then your battery, you, your phone just dies quicker. I know. Which is what happened on my last phone before this one. It would die within like 10 minutes. I know. It was crazy. It was so bad. But now they make the battery life longer because there's no headphone jack, mm -hmm. you know? So you have to like switch back and forth between like... Plus our shit. phones are bigger, so it takes longer for them to die than a smaller phone. True. So, because I have like an iPad too. I have like the holy shit one, like the giant iPad Pro yeah. to draw on. And that thing takes... Forever. I haven't charged it in two months. It takes forever to die. Wait, really? Yeah. Wow. It's still, like, hanging on. I know. Excuse I keep me. my iPad in the charger. I have an iPad Mini 4. And my iPad could eat your iPad. <laughs> it could. My <laughs> iPad is about maybe two inches bigger than my phone. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to do a comparison. Okay. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. Hold on. I can Sorry. It's on the other side of the room. <laughs> Megan's getting my iPad. Okay. I love the iPad mini because I could take it everywhere. Well, let's see. I'm putting it on top here. I'd say there's about an inch here. And no, then... that's more like two inches. Two inches um, in length and then, I mean, here. Yeah. That's like an inch, Lauren. No, that looks like two inches. Let me get my... Hold on. I have a <laughs> tape measure. I don't know why we're doing this. Well... We're... Because we're making a point. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Lauren, careful. There's a table there. So. Okay. So it's like an inch. That's two inches. Two inches. God. <laughs> is that really two inches? Yes. Ugh. And then yeah. how far width wise? Three inches. Like. Yeah, like three inches. So it's like three inches bigger in width and two inches bigger in length than my actual phone now. Like, that's Woohoo. crazy. I know. Hold on. Sorry. I got to roll up. I know measure. what two inches looks like. <laughs> I've had X's with dicks that big. <laughs> it's like a 
thumb. <laughs> Liter- hold on. Put that back. <laughs> it's like half a thumb. <laughs> half of my thumb. Boring. <laughs> They're going to... No, they won't listen to this. I was going to say, my exes are going to listen to this and be like, what the fuck? If he does listen to this, that's hilarious. No, he deleted me a long time ago. Oh. Fuck him. You know who I'm talking about. Yes, I do. <laughs> you told me about baby dick. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to call baby dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I man. I mean, size doesn't really matter to me, but at that point, I was a little bit of an asshole, and it did matter. <laughs> well, as long as you can see it, it's fine. I mean, flaccid. It disappeared. He had a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He had, like, a, an o- abnormally large clit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Good guy, but couldn't deal with it. I have no comment. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been that unlucky. I'll just say that much. That was the only time I was unlucky. I th- I've seen dicks, though, that unraveled like a red carpet. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, and he might be listening to this podcast, the person I'm talking about. And if you are listening, still the biggest dick I've ever seen. I had to just catch it. I almost said his name out loud. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to say <laughs> yeah. it. Just a fucking, oh, my God. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Oh, but. God, because it was hilarious. Your reaction. I remember I was in class and yeah. Lauren texted me. Everyone was out of the house and I invited this guy. Oh, he's now he's really going to know who he is. I invited my friend over. We're still friends to this day. But and like things escalated and we didn't mean for them to escalate. And <laughs> Megan came home and I'm like, I just saw the biggest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> I was 18. I don't. I haven't seen much dick at that point anyway. Still the biggest dick I've ever seen. Oh my god, Lauren. Okay, we have to put a disclaimer. Just because our dad listens to this podcast. Don't listen to this. Sorry, dad. <laughs> Sorry. Are you proud of me? <laughs> oh, it's been a long time, so don't worry. Oh, man. Well, that's like... <laughs> Oh, no. (laughs) The story I always tell about how I learned what a blowjob was. Oh, yeah. Thanks to our father. Well, let me let me explain. Okay, you might need to put some context behind that because that just sounded wrong. We were watching Jan Silent Bob Strike Back. Uh Uh-huh. That's, you know, that's the gist of it. And it was the part where it's George Carlin and he's, you know, got the sign about the road head or whatever. And he like went, you know, he blew a guy like a trucker to get a ride yeah and i think i watched that when i was like 11 i didn't know what the fuck that meant i didn't know what was happening and i was watching it with my dad because you know i he he was like no i have to watch this with you it's like a rated r movie yeah (laughs) and oh my god i'm sorry my voice is like i know shot to shit but uh i remember i looked at my dad and i'm like what just happened (laughs) and he was like and then he had to explain it to me. And I was like a deer in the headlights for like the rest of the movie. I'm like, I'm so sorry that I asked. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, well, thank God you explained that though, because saying I found out what a blowjob was thanks to my dad sounds very oh, wrong. God. You literally just said that. <laughs> Next time we're doing the podcast after I've been awake for at least an hour. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then, like, five minutes later, he looked at me, he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, don't ever do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was like, if he only knew. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now it makes me sound like I just sucked a lot of dick. Well, not we all do it. I mean, not a lot. We all partake. Yeah. I mean, and if you don't, you're either, like, a priest or just a straight male, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, even then. I feel like straight males sometimes do gayer shit than gay males. Well, I know. <laughs> like, why is Oh, that? dude, look at how fucking funny this is. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's real fucking funny. You know? It's like Bam Margera and Jackass. Oh, God, I know. You know? He was so homophobic for so long. And then, literally, in the second movie, he's taking dicks up the ass. And, like, doing the flying 69 and shit. Yeah. Well, he didn't do the flying 69. Because done of that one scene with the car in the ass and how everyone remember that. He's like, now I'm going to do a ton of shit to my asshole <laughs> because people will remember it. And like we do, but it's still not as iconic 
is shoving a toy car up your ass and then getting a fucking x-ray of Can it. Can I just say, that x-ray with the toy in his ass was the background on my phone for a while. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> I just, really? It's the funniest thing I have ever seen in my life. I mean, it was just so perfect. It was like, and it's like, perfectly it's so obvious it's like right there the funniest part of that whole bit was the doctor's like well you shoved it up your ass <laughs> Done, totally like serious i didn't shove shit up my ass how the fuck did he not break oh my god i would have been laughing as soon as i walked in there i wouldn't be able to do it oh he was probably just so uncomfortable yeah oh my god, god. that doctor was everything that doctor is like what the fuck there's a toy car in his ass oh my god i couldn't even that is like my favorite photo of all time the x-ray with <laughs> done yeah. and the toy car in his ass. <laughs> yeah oh man this has been a very all over the place first 20 minutes you know what we sat down and we're like we're just gonna fucking i know talk about we whatever. went from cell phones to dicks to jackass to all of that well it's a natural progression of us. <laughs> I, we literally do this all the time. You know, if you ever talk to me and Megan in person, this is how we are. Yeah. We just go on tangents. Like, pack your bags. We're going on 15 tangents. We're yep. not going to be back for a while. Yeah. <laughs> literally. And sometimes, like how we just did, sometimes we forget. I'm like, oh, fuck. What were we just talking about? <laughs> I know. Sometimes you venture too far away from the main point. Yeah. You get sucked into the woods and almost mauled by a bear. <laughs> but then... Someone saves you when you get back on track to the tangent. <laughs> you know? Sometimes you find the wicked witch in the forest and then you yeah. gotta come back. You find the house that fucking crushed her sister. <laughs> and you're like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone too far. Um, I still love that Dane Cook bit about following directions. Oh, you yeah. hit the tray tracks, you've gone too far. And as you're reading it, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Dane Cook, he... At one point, hysterical. Oh, my God. Still one of the most quotable comedians to me. I mean, we've... And we've only watched those, like, a handful of times. Right. Maybe, if that. And I could recite to you so much fucking shit. He's just so memorable. I know, but... You know, all of a sudden, he steals, like, one joke, and then he's fucking exiled. I know. You know, I'm fucking sick of that, dude. I like, know. Like, someone fucks up once, and then it's just, like, unforgivable now. You know, it's like, you gotta give people, like, if they fuck up again, then yeah. But, like, one time, like, you gotta fucking give them a chance. Well, I know. You know? Because everyone makes mistakes. Like, don't sit here and tell me you were pure and perfect, never made a mistake, never said something stupid. Going back to what we were talking about a couple podcasts ago, or last podcast, you know, and how people say dumb shit all the time. Like, you know, how long is, you know enough time to hold that shit over someone's head. Well, no kidding. You know? And it's like, what what gain do you get? You as is the general you, not directly you. Well, I understand. <laughs> what gain do you get out of, you know, pointing out someone's flaws for so long? Well, seriously. You know? Like, I did good today. I told that person that they're terrible and because they did this and that and he's getting punished and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, initially, yes. I mean, something should be said, but forgiveness should be had at some point and well, moving on should be had after that. Well, seriously, you know, we can't be fucking mad. You know, eventually you got to let that shit. That's why everyone's so fucking tense and everyone's killing themselves. They keep holding on to shit. They shouldn't be holding on to. <laughs> it's true. Just saying, you know, no, it's true. Like it's, it's bad to be that angry all the time. It's not good for your mental and emotional health. I feel like a lot of people do that, though, because they're so insecure with themselves. They have to point out other people's insecurities to feel better about themselves. Oh, yeah. That's just how it... Even going back to elementary school, you know, that's the reason why bullies bully people, is they hate themselves so much that they have to point out other people's flaws so they feel some sort of, like, you know... Yeah, it's child mentality. They're acting like children. Yeah. For fuck's sake. <laughs> it's just, I'm so done with it. Like, every fucking day, it's like something, you know? I know. It's, it's like, oh, this person said this, or this person did this, and oh, I'm offended. It's like, then be offended, but shut the fuck up, you know? I know. Jesus Christ. Like, I'm sick of hearing about everyone's fucking woes and 
fucking shit. It's like nothing's fun anymore. Even just like, I don't know if you watched them like a while ago, but the VMAs, like everything was like a political statement. Like it just wasn't fun anymore. I didn't watch it, but I heard it was like, I watched like clips of it like online. Yeah. Out of just sheer curiosity. Dude, it's like everything was like a political thing. Nothing was fun. Nothing was like, yay, music is fun and stuff. Everything was like, fuck the president. Fuck this. Fuck it. Blah. It's just like, it's not the time and place, you know? I know. People use entertainment as an escape from politics and religion. Yeah. And stuff like that. So, like, stop bringing it in. This is why I don't I don't listen to anything. I couldn't even tell you a song that's on the radio. I couldn't even tell you any of that shit. Well, me either. I've been listening to Iron Maiden for, like, two years straight, and I'm perfectly fine with it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Which is the song I'm going to put in today. <clears throat> or one of them, anyway. I thought you were going to put in Mr. Bungle. Did you already put in Mr. Bungle? I put in Bungle. Oh. Did I put in Uncle Acid already? No. <laughs> okay, I got to do that today. <laughs> that, that's why I'm like, I look back. How? What episode is this? Like our 16th, 16th episode? I have yet to put in an Iron Maiden song. The fuck? This is distressing to me. I'm distressed. Like a chicken with its head cut off. <laughs> no, anyway. you're just dead at that point. Oh. You know, yes, shit happens. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go to a break. Yes, and uh, I'm gonna put in some Iron Maiden, the Paul Diano Iron Maiden, because I like that one. Yes, or two, I should say, the two albums with him. I don't know what song. Oh God, sorry, trying not to burp in the mic again. <laughs> um, I don't know what song. <clears throat> one of them. It'll go right here. Yes, and uh. You'll enjoy it like I do. I might put in the whole fucking thing, Lauren, honestly. (laughs) Because I don't even know what we're going to be talking about today. Like, there's a few things I want to touch on. Like, going back to, like, what we were talking about last week with the Rock of Fire explosion stuff. Oh, yeah. We saw, well, it wasn't his channel. It was um, the Carpetbagger, the other channel that we we love. I'll link the video below. Jacob, we love you. Please come on our podcast. We have so many questions. We have so many questions. Aaron, you too. Please come on the podcast. Yes. I think we said this like in four different episodes, but in we've only been done 16 episodes. But we're going to keep saying it until it happens. Well, honestly. And Mike Patton. We should probably send him this shit, huh? I know. We should probably do that. But Mike Patton, we want you on the podcast too. Kevin Smith, please come on the... I have a million questions for Kevin. That's going to be a five-hour podcast. Oh my God. Well, he doesn't shut the hell up. Well, so. neither do we. So it's going to be <laughs> five hours long. Well, I know. That's going to be a long fucking episode. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what the hell was I just saying? Um, that video. Oh, yes, I want to talk about that. It was a video that the carpetbagger put up yesterday that, like, it relates to the rock fire explosion. It's really sad, and we'll we'll talk about it in a minute. But yeah. right now, it's Iron Maiden. I'm just gonna put in the whole fucking song. Well, Lauren. go ahead. It's it's going in. Okay. It's done. I already did it. it okay. Happened. <laughs> It's my podcast. I'll edit it how I want to. Okay. But. All right. We're going to have some riveting banter when we come back. Yes. So Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Enjoy the Iron Maiden. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Let's have some fun. We're in uniform. Sometimes they look so cool. We're in uniform. 
everyone welcome back we hope you enjoyed that iron maiden song <laughs> the whole thing are you actually putting in the? Whole i'm putting thing? in the whole thing it happened okay it's there it's done all right excellent sweet <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there oh we we sat down today and we didn't really know what to talk about but there was a video i saw yesterday and i'm like i want to talk about this yeah just briefly or whatever we teased it a few minutes ago but um it was uh the carpet bagger who we who we love to watch. Yes. And he you know, he'll go around to like different roadside things and like Yeah, if you you're know. really into that stuff, highly recommend checking it out. Um yes. Because he mostly does stuff in like because he lives in North Carolina. Yes. I believe. And it's mostly stuff in the south and like Tennessee and you know, he goes to Gatlinburg a lot too. Oh I love Gatlinburg. Oh my god. So it's very interesting to see that part of the country, considering we're from up north. Yeah, and it's so, very different here. Yeah, there's just a lot of, like, history and, like, colonial stuff here. But down there, it's very, very different. It's like a whole different world down there. <laughs> I love it. I'm I love fascinated it. by the South. So, this video, he was in West Virginia, of all places. West Vagina. West Vagina. <laughs> and Vagina and West Vagina. <laughs> Could you... What if we had a West Next Vagina? Next to Tits <laughs> Tits of C. That's a game grumps reference. <clears throat> oh God. What if what if we did have like a vagina that was like west of our actual vagina? Called the West Vagina? Yeah. I don't know, Meg. I mean <laughs> what would go there? The West Vagina is where we pee and the vagina is where we do everything else. <laughs> no, I'll take the pee in the West Vagina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that's gross. Ew. So anyway, he went to West Virginia. Yeah. And there's a place there called Billy Bob's Wonderland. Mm -hmm. And I know we talk about the rock fire explosion in like multiple episodes, but like too many. Well, I wasn't but. planning on talking about it today, but because we've been talking about it so much, I wanted to bring this up because Billy Bob's Wonderland, it's one of the last places that has a public showing of the rock of fire explosion. I mean, now they just put in a brand new one in Kansas City somewhere. Yeah. In a bar. And... Before that, this is the only place in the country you could go see it still publicly. And it has not been refurbished or anything like that since it was put there in like the early 80s or whatever. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. These animatronics are terrifying looking. Yeah. Like it, it like broke my heart. Like how in dis disrepair and disarray they are. I know. Because um, like apparently... Oh, oh, so. oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, Fats doesn't even work anymore. Like, he doesn't move. Yeah. And I think um, Beach Bear doesn't move yeah. either. And But Mitzi looks terrifying. She has, like, no eyes. Yeah. Billy Bob looks okay, 
but still not great. Yeah. Like, his eyes are, like, really, like... I don't know. It's all this black around them. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And, like... I'm trying to think. Like, all the other ones look like shit, too. Yeah. It's just terrible. And apparently, I guess what happened, like... I don't know how many years ago it was. But I guess Aaron Fector went out and he offered to, like, fix them up or whatever. But the guy who owns the place was, like, too snappy with him. Like, he he's like, you're not doing it fast enough, blah, blah, blah. And, like, basically ran him the fuck out of town. And it was like, I don't know exactly what happened. Aaron, come on our podcast and talk about this place. We would love to have you. Yes. And but, I know a lot of people would love to hear about it. Yeah. But, um... That was the last time anyone, I think, tried to repair. Other than, like, the maintenance people there who do, like, tiny little simple things. Mm -hmm. But, man, they just... And it's funny. This video he took, the carpet bagger, recently was, like, a few days ago. And the last time he went was two years ago. And, I mean, they were still pretty bit out of shape then. But at least they all still moved and they were, you know, passable. Yeah. These are, like, in a state of just total disarray. And it just, it broke my heart that someone would be so fucking negligent with something like that. Well, no kidding. What does he think is going to happen? I know. You know? They're all going to stop working one day. Yeah, like, who thought this was a good idea? I know. You know, it just disgusts me that he can't just fucking muster up some pride and fucking let someone else fix it. I know. You know, for fuck's sake. Not to mention the people of West Virginia, from what I've seen... Not the brightest, not the brightest people. Yeah. They think they're smarter than they actually are. Yeah, they're not very smart to begin with. Not and to make that's it- not us being like judgmental of West Virginia. It's actual fact. You could look it up. Yeah. Like So, you know, it's just like really it's really sad that someone would do something like that. Just like so like negligent for some someone's property. Mm-hmm. You know? And like we're gonna link the video. Yeah. So you can see for yourself, it's like, ter- it's more terrifying than any like anything at fucking Six Flags right now. I know. I mean, and can we just talk about that too? Like, oh yeah, the Six Flags Fright Fest. Yeah, what a joke. It's we saw like video of it. We don't live exactly close to a Six Flags, but no, I mean close-ish. But you know, we just don't really go. It it was good thing we didn't go. It's not good. No. The actors were terrible. It, it just seems like they didn't have a lot of training. Yeah. I, as far as how to scare people or... I mean, compared to, like, um, Halloween Horror Nights or something. Yeah. You know? Like, where it's, like, amazing. Oh, like, my God. Though, I guess the one this year is the Poltergeist house thing yeah, that you can watch Stranger through. Things. Oh. Dude, I would love to go through both. Me, too. I wouldn't even be scared by Stranger Things. I would be too excited. Be like, <laughs> Yes! fucking 11 like kicking ass and yeah <laughs> dustin's hat in the background i'm like i'm dying i can't the pol- going to will's house oh yeah oh i haven't watched the show yet lauren wants me to watch it i'm watching it with you because i want to watch it again okay <laughs> but i'm telling you the poltergeist one look it up i'm sure it's on youtube somewhere i well i found it on youtube somewhere who posted it um, um adam the woo did oh that's right a- adam the woo good friend of the carpet bagger Another guy that goes around the country and to cool places. He went and he put up videos of it. It is incredible. The Poltergeist one. Holy shit. I mean, I'm terrified of that movie. It's one of the few movies that actually. Sorry. I know. You know, I'm sorry. (laughs) I was doing so well. I know you were doing so great. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. Um, It's like one of the few movies that actually scares me. I know. Besides The Exorcist. Yeah. One of my favorite movies of all time because it terrifies me so much. Oh my god, I know. And the the scariest part about that movie is it's based on a true story. I know. Ugh. So, a true story that happened in Connecticut. So, I mean, that's great. Yeah, it's fun. It's wonderful. We need to fucking move. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, um... Yeah, so I keep seeing, like, stuff about all, all the Halloween stuff is already out. What day is it? The day we're recording this is... It's, um... September... Ni- oh, that's right. It's my cousin's birthday. September 19th. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's already out. Or it's been out for, like, a week. Halloween came early this year, y'all. Oh, yeah. So excited. Ugh. We just <laughs> had Halloween Oreos before we did this podcast, too. Oh, oh, I know. Why are they so much better? I know. It's just... 
I think we already talked about we this. We did. <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, I will fucking talk about Oreos all goddamn oh, day. same. <laughs> the blueberry pie Oreos. Oh. Oh, my God. If you could find no. them. The red velvet Oreos. Oh, my God in heaven. They are incredible. They are so good. If you can find either of those, because they're so hard to fucking find. Yeah, because they're seasonal. Get, like, all of them. Yeah. Because you're going to want, like, multiple Get the packs. whole row of them. Yes. Honestly. I know. Why can't they just make them, like, normal like the other ones? I know. God damn it, Oreos. I have to buy them online, I guess. Well, it's going to be the weirdest thing I bought online. Do I... Do I want to know? I mean, or? moving on. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so we've been seeing that. And it's like, you look at the Hollywood or Hollywood. Let me try that again. Halloween Horror Nights. Because mm-hmm. he went to the one in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you look at like Six Flags. It's like night and fucking day. I know. Like, they're not scary. It's just stupid. It's like, have you ever gone to like... Like, well, we used to have this at our elementary school. They'd have, yeah. like, the Halloween thing every every year on Halloween. And they set up, like, a little haunted house. And it's, like, three animatronics from, like, a like a party store. Like, for Spirit Halloween. Yeah. And, like, one person in a mask that jumps out at the end. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what Six Flags is, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, amateur. Like, I could have done this. And probably better. Not to say better. I shouldn't say that. That's too cocky of me. Yeah. But I mean, but yeah. honestly, Meg, you wouldn't be too far off. <laughs> I mean, with how much they make and how much like time they put into this and uh, why wouldn't they make it more dramatic? You know, I know. Like, it's just like they put on a mask thing went Bleh, and like that was it. Or like, they just scream, but it's not scary. Yeah. And you could see the puck, fuck the pucking, the fucking <laughs> person <laughs> coming from a mile away. You know, there's no like scare to it. You know, like you see them in the corner of the room and they slowly walk over to you and then they yell in your face. Like, I knew you were going to do that. Yeah. Like it's predictable and it's not scary. Like there's no, you know. There's no suspense. Yeah. There's no like drama. Like it's the just- scariest part is. The music, and it's not even that scary. Yeah. That's basically it. I mean, fuck that shit. You know, if I'm gonna go and get the shit scared out of me, it better, you know, you better fucking bring it. Yeah. Well, that's why Haunted Graveyard or, like, Compounds does very well. Yeah. They really train people. They do. And it's very, like, it's long, too. Yeah. It's very long. Like, you're in there for a while. Mm Mm-hmm. I remember I've, I've only been, like... Like, a handful of times. Mm-hmm. Like, in the actual haunted graveyard. Because if you go to, like, compounds when they have the haunted graveyard, they also have, like, little, you know, like, haunted houses and stuff. Like Yeah, they have, around. like, other attractions. And- but the main thing is the actual haunted graveyard. Right. And it takes, like, like 20 minutes to go through. Yeah. It's, like, long. And maybe even longer. I don't know. I'd have to ask someone. But the few times I went, it's, like... It, it always, like, there was something that got me in every turn. Yeah. Every t- I was like, ugh, you know? Like, jumping at something. Yeah. And it was great. And it was so much fun. We went so many times. Uh, we did. Ugh. We, especially in high school. Oh, so much fun. Oh, my gosh. It, it was the best. And we would get dipping Dots, and it was, like, 40 degrees outside. Well, fuck it. <laughs> we were like, well, there's no lines, so, I mean, fuck it, right? And, oh, oh, that's right. That, that's why there's no lines, because it's fucking freezing out. Yeah. Well, at least you wouldn't have to worry about them melting. True. So, my dipping Dots were still whole by the time I got to the bottom. Because <laughs> you know how you get dipping Dots, and they kind of congeal into, like, one, like kind of mass yeah like a lump towards of ice cream the, yeah yeah towards the end well that didn't happen i still had whole pieces of ice cream in whole there pieces of water <laughs> i can't oh man are the neighbors seriously mowing their fucking lawn right now i don't know i really hope the mic doesn't pick this up i mean honestly every fucking time you and i sit down to fucking do something it's got to be some fucking bullshit outside like, Jesus Christ, man. When the hell are we ever going to get a break? But I digress. <laughs> Laura just blinked that way. <laughs> I mean... Well, I mean, for fuck's sake. It's like a Wednesday. Don't you people have jobs? God damn it. 
I know. And I don't even think it's my neighbor. It's probably like the people two houses down <sighs> or across the street. And if your lawnmower's that fucking loud, get a new lawnmower. It means it's probably trash. <clears throat> anyway, the spike on the <laughs> audio just now went out of control. I'm so sorry. If I blew out your eardrums, I personally apologize. <laughs> but I mean, Jesus We're not Christ, angry man. people. I'm not angry. I just fucking hate everyone around me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> anyway. Yes. I swear. It's like every fucking time you and I try to do something around here. Well, I know. That's why. I wish we just had like a place we could go just to record the podcast that was like soundproofed. I know, but you know, we just don't have that kind of money. I've been working my ass off all week. <coughs> oh God. Um, I've been like busy, like doing artwork and converting tapes and stuff. Oh my God. I'm exhausted. And all I wanted to do today was just record a podcast, but nope. Fucking neighbors. Yeah. Cause the neighbors don't give a shit. They don't give a fucking shit about anyone else around them. They and are loud. I think it's like an elderly man too, who, doesn't work yeah like they're loud they're rude like fuck these people <clears throat> anyway back to fucking horror stuff <laughs> yeah what what the hell are we talking about um uh haunted attractions yeah haunted graveyard yes thank you i we got there yes <laughs> um yeah i keep seeing them popping up and i'm like already so excited i know i'm like yes Halloween is coming. You know, the one in Connecticut that people rave about all the time is the Trail of Terror. Oh, yeah. Like, <clears throat> we were going to go a few years ago, but it was such a long wait that... Oh, I know. We were like, fuck it, we're not doing this. But apparently, it's like a two-hour thing, and it's like ridiculously good. Yeah. Actually, I don't even know if it's two hours. It's long, though. And I think what it is... Is you take a tractor trailer ride to a barn Mm -hmm. and it's like creepy in itself just to get to the barn and the barn has its own attraction that you go through and people say it's like great. I I believe that's what it is. Or it might just be that. I don't know if that's right or not. I might be confusing it with something else. I mean, else. I don't know. But, that's but still apparently f- it's one of the best in the state. Yeah. That still sounds cool either way. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, God. I don't know if I'd be able to do that now, honestly. When I was younger, probably. But now I'd probably yeah. be like, I'm tired. I'm going home. <laughs> I get scared when I see a weird shadow on the wall. and I, like, jump a little. I'm like, <laughs> what the? Oh, okay. It's just the lamp. <laughs> you know, I think, too. Like, once you experience horror, like, real life horror in your own life. Y- yes. You're less inclined to do things like that Mm -hmm. because it's like well i've had my fill i think i'm good (laughs) yeah because you know last few years have been really rough for me Mm -hmm. it's a whole other story in itself so it's like i've been shying away from things like that because it's like i just i've dealt with enough like i don't want to subject myself to more heart palpitations than i already have (laughs) so yeah but you know (coughs) oh god i'm choking on air i'm so sorry for all the bodily noises (laughs) noises <laughs> i know <laughs> this episode i'm a mess i woke up and i had like a coughing fit you ever like wake up and it's like you accidentally swallow like saliva or something yes and you choke wrong choke you breathe wrong and then you just choke yeah and like it fucks up your throat for the whole day i mean that's how i feel right now because that's what happened to me so i apologize i probably should we should probably should have waited to record until like another day but it's fine we're good we're no, here it's fine i wanted to talk today I know you wanted to talk. Yes. And get things out. So we're doing it. Yes. Anyway, back to the rock of fire. Yeah. Oh, my God. So many fucking, like, horrible attractions and things we've been mm-hmm. seeing this week. I know. But the- one of which... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying that broke my heart. I know. Oh, it just made me so sad to see him like that. Because it's such pure, disgusting negligence. Mm-hmm. Like, it could have easily, easily been avoided. But... You know, some people are just garbage. But speaking of attractions, one that Laura and I are planning to go to at oh, some yeah. point. We want to go to Universal in Orlando and go to the Harry Potter parks. Okay, we haven't been to Universal in Orlando. We've been before. Yeah. We were know. like eight, though. No, we went when we were 15. Did we? Yeah. I didn't think we went that It time. was right before they started building the Harry Potter parks. You're right. So, I mean, we just missed it by like a year or two. Was it really? Has it been around for that long? Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to do some Google research. (laughs) Because we went when we were 
freshman going into sophomore year, so that was 2007. 2007. So. Oh my god, it was that was like a decade ago. Or maybe it was a few years after. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't think it came until like way or later. I could be wrong, I don't oh know. God. Check Harry when it opened. Potter Universal. Oh, sorry. Lauren. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That's what it's called. Yes. Uh, when did it open? 2010. Okay, so three years after. Yeah. So it wasn't too far off. Not too far off. It was, we just missed it though by a yeah. few years. So we haven't been to Universal since they, oh, they stopped knowing the lawn. Since, um. Thank God. Fuck it. They might have just been trimming hedges. I don't but. give a shit what they're doing. We need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> so we haven't been we in haven't, a while. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been since it opened. And we want to go so bad. We are very obsessed yes. with Harry Potter. I, You and I both. Mm-hmm. We have been like... I didn't read many of the books. I read like two. Yeah, I've read the first two or three. And I want to finish... I want to go back and reread those books and then read the rest. Yeah. Because I know there's so much in those books that I've missed. I know. But we love the movies, too. We saw all the movies because they were easier to see and acquire. And Yeah. I mean, they cut a lot of stuff out, granted, but... But I at mean, the same time, I mean, that's that's my gripe sometimes, you know, with books versus movies or, like, books being turned into movies. Yeah. Like, sometimes you have to cut things out for it to visually make sense. Right. And so they don't feel like, oh, this is dragging on forever. But a lot of people complain about it. They're like, well, you left out this and you left out this. But it's like, is it is it vital to the overall plot development? You know what I mean? Right. That's what a lot of people don't take into consideration. Because I was like that. One of my favorite books is Coraline. It's not a very long book. You know, it's meant right. for kids. It's one of my favorite books ever. And Tim Burton made the Coraline movie. But it was almost the opposite. Like, he added in a character that wasn't even in the book at all. Right. But it made sense to the movie because a lot of the book, it was, like, inner dialogue and, like, thoughts and stuff. And they couldn't have her talking to herself the entire movie. She'd seem like a crazy person. I know. So I get it from that perspective to have it make more sense to what is happening. But that's why, like, I really hate when, like, the, the... like avid Harry Potter fans are like, well, they took out this and they took out that. It's like, if it's a small detail that can be easily overlooked, who fucking cares? Yeah. You know, and it's like, if it's not relevant to the main plot, it's like, if they put in every detail from those books, those movies would be five hours long. Like each, even the first book, you know, if the Sorcerer's Stone, if yeah. they made that entire movie with every detail, it would be four hours long. And the last... Because the Deathly Hollows got split into two parts. It was so fucking long. Yeah. That would be four parts with how long it actually is. Like... I mean, it's a lot. There's you know? so much detail. And it's like it's like Lord of the Rings, too, in The Hobbit. Because I read The Hobbit. Mm-hmm. And I fucking love The Hobbit so much. More than Lord of the Rings. And... They split The Hobbit into three movies because it was so fucking long. Yeah. I mean, they're <laughs> you know? long but fucking But they added books. so much. They added a whole romantic aspect of it, which they did not have in the book. And they 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 add a lot of Hollywood shit in the movies to appeal to a lot of things. Yeah. But they also take a lot of stuff out to stay relevant to the story. So, I mean, the movies aren't going to be an exact replica you know, or even TV. Yeah. Like The Walking Dead. They loosely base it on the comics. They keep a lot of the relevant, you know, main points from the comics, but they switch it up in the show. Yeah. You it's know? funny because I took a class in college called Literature and Film, and we talk about like how they do these adaptations and stuff. And that's one of the things they said. It's like, is it relevant to what the main plot is? Yeah. Is this going to benefit in any way or is it just filler? Because if it's filler, it doesn't need to be in there. Right. So anyway, that's our take on that. Yes. We love Harry Potter and I love because I know a lot of people are like, how could you like the movies and not barely even read the books? Because I don't have time to sit and read 800 hours worth of fucking books sometimes. I want to. Oh, trust me. But reading is one of my favorite things to do ever. I read all the time. You and I, since like we were born (laughs) yeah have been reading like engrossed in books i wish i had more books to read honestly i mean 
I read everything on my bookshelf already. The dream so. is to have an actual library. <sighs> like fucking Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Like where it's in like my this, home. <laughs> like from floor to ceiling and like it's like 20 feet high. And you have to like use one of those ladder things to, to get slide a book. across. Oh, oh my God. I would love that so much. The dream. Oh, like you know how people dream of just like, you know big mansions and mm-hmm. i'm like no i want a big library please I mean, honestly that's why i hate the kindle i think it's god's like worst gift to mankind I well i mean it takes away like it's actually physically holding a copy of the book but i i forgot where i saw this the other day but it was like physical copies don't get corrupted physical copies don't get you know lost lost and erased and physical copies don't with something like that you yeah. know and it's true, you know, physical copies of anything, music, books, yeah, fucking VHS, DVD, you know, because everything is all digital now, but that shit could get lost and deleted. deleted. Yeah. And, you know, I love how we said that at the same time. <laughs> I know. Story of our lives. I know. But you know, that's, it's true. Like, I love books and I think it's so impersonal and takes away from the experience kind of when you're reading a book on a fucking tablet. Yeah. It just, it's so like, it's harder for me to get like, engr- I feel like I'm reading like a journal article. Yeah. You know, like with books, it's like, ooh, there's like artwork and like pages and there's like, like cool things like in the pages sometimes yeah. and quotes and fucking. And what's even worse is like audio books. I know. People aren't even reading anymore. Yeah, they just listen. It's basically like an eight hour podcast of people just reading a book. But for me, I wouldn't pay attention. You know? I know. It's like, I need to read it and visualize it myself. But for some people, that's easier. So I kind of get it. But for me personally, I can never listen to an audio book. Honestly, if you're just, if you do it because you're purely lazy and you don't like to read, like if you don't have some kind of like... I mean, it's great for people that are blind, you know, that can't physically read oh, words, yeah. you know. And or people who understand better by hearing things rather than reading it. Yeah. You know. Auditory learners, I yes, believe is that's the term. What it's called. But if you're just purely lazy and you just can't be bothered to read and you'd rather just listen to it, it's like making you dumber. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> you know? why I struggled in school a little bit with, I mean, I did relatively well in school, but like with lectures. Yeah. I understood things better when I went home and just read it myself. Yeah. I'm not an auditory learner at yeah. all. Well, in college specifically. Yes. Oh my God. There were some professors we'd have that would just talk and talk and talk. And just read off a PowerPoint and didn't oh it was the worst and i'd have to like take notes because i'm like i'm not gonna remember shit i would just sit on facebook or like the internet the whole class and just like not even pay attention and they don't even care because they're like i got fucking paid already i don't give a shit (laughs) but you know it's it's true i just think it's like and i feel like the younger you are when you start reading like the better your vocabulary is yeah because i know some people that just don't like reading and that's fine everyone has preferences yeah but they can't like they fuck up words a lot yeah you know what i mean like they say words but they they're not using them in the correct context yeah they just think it sounds right and i'm like that's not what that means (laughs) right you know but because well you and i it's funny like our parents are not big writers you know, yeah. they never really like, unless well, our dad's a big reader. He reads a lot, but I mean, he does have a Kindle. So yeah, I know, which I hate. I hate that thing. <laughs> I know, but yeah. I mean, he does read all the time. Every yeah. day he's reading something. But they don't, they're not really like writers. And you and I have always been like writers. Yeah. Because we if always you're gonna Okay. If you don't have any kind of skill and you want to just hone in on something, learn how to write really well. Yeah. Honestly, it'll get you through any class you ever take in your life if you can because i've taken classes where i didn't even learn shit in yeah. them but because i articulated like what i was saying really well in writing i passed with flying colors yeah because it's it's like the most useful skill you can have is to write or be able to write i will never forget i was like i think i had like a c in a class macroeconomics which is I hated it with oh, every fiber of my I band. never got an A in those classes ever. And the only reason I passed with a B in that class is because we had to write a paper and I got a 102 on it. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I got extra credit because I helped someone else with their paper. Yeah. And I passed and then it brought my grade all the way up to like an 89 or something. 
I know. She could have just give you that one point. Nope. She was that. She was a fucking stickler. That fucking bitch. But you know, it's just like it. It's one of the best things Laura and I ever learned how to do because, yeah. like, and even in like impersonal situations, like if you're just like talking to someone, like if you're like making a phone call or like an interview or something, yeah. like if you know how to like articulate yourself very well. Yes. It'll help you even like if you're nervous and like taking a public know. speaking class, even if you never want a public speak in your life, will help you in every way possible. That's Writing and public speaking. Yeah, that's great life advice, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, true. it's like that's what it, helped us. Because I don't really have like a talent either, you know, like nothing. Not right now. I don't do anything that's considered a talent or a skill. Yeah. But I've always honed in on the fact that I'm a great writer. And I know how to write and, like, put my words in such a way that people understand it. And it sounds, like, professional and, you know, easy to understand. Right. So, you know, if you really don't have anything going for you and you don't think you could do anything, really hone in on your writing skills. Yeah. Honestly. It's it's one of the best things that, like, I'm so grateful, like, our parents, like, bought us books and, like, read to us and stuff. Because yeah. Because... It helped us out a lot in life. Because a lot of parents now can't even be bothered to read for their kids. Not even because that they're negligent or lazy, but a lot of parents work two to three jobs. Yeah. You know? A lot of parents are busy doing other shit and they don't have time. Yeah. You know? That's why I'm grateful. Our mom, like, quit her job to stay home with us for, like, m- most of our for, younger like, years. the first ten years of our life. Yeah. To, with- like, make sure that we, you know, did things like that. Yeah. And so those are very important years. D- yeah. They important developmental years. Yeah. And you know, it's great. Like even like you and I, we would just like, we had journals. We would like write stuff all the time. I was, I was drawing a lot, you know, coloring, doing things yeah. like that. Um, I played a lot of computer games and, um, I wrote a lot too. I didn't, I did draw sometimes, but not as much as Megan. Yeah. Did. Lauren was more of a gamer than me. Yeah. <laughs> I really like video games. Yeah. To this day, I still love video games. Like, even still, like, if Lauren was playing a game, I would always watch her. I hardly would ever, like, play with you. Yeah. I wasn't, like, very, uh... It would have to be a pretty simple game for you yeah. to be like, okay. I didn't really... I don't have the dexterity to play video games, you know? And yeah. even now, more so, because I have Carpal Tunnel. <laughs> I know. But. I mean, you played The Sims, which is... It doesn't take a lot to I play mean, The it's Sims. A, PC games are one thing, point and click things or whatever. Yeah. I'm talking about like console games that use a controller. Oh yeah, and I mean, like Portal Two, and yeah. Portal, both Portal games are my favorites. Yeah. Oh yeah, I so. could never do. I played co-op with Lauren, could never do it. I know. I tried to teach Megan, but <laughs> it, she she just didn't get. She couldn't even get in the fucking elevator. I couldn't do it. <laughs> but so anyway, yeah, writing. What the hell are we talking about? Harry Potter. Yeah. Wow. We, wow. You want to talk about get packing your bags and going on a <laughs> fucking trip because we're going on a tangent. Yeah. Holy shit. So Harry Potter, me and Lauren are planning on going at some point. Yes. We've been, uh, we've been looking into it. Holy crap. It looks so much fun. Oh my God. Because I went to the Harry Potter one in California that opened a couple years ago, mm-hmm. like just open. And, um, it's just Hogsmeade. And I mean, even still, it was amazing. But the one in Florida not only has Hogsmeade, but it also has Diagon Alley. Oh, so it's twice as big as the one I went to. And even still, I'm like, just going to that one. I was like, I wish Megan was here right now. So bad because you weren't. Oh, there. my God. I know. I Just everything. I bought a robe. We got to get you a robe. I got to get a robe. I what? have Ravenclaw because we're both Ravenclaws. And, like, officially, like, we took the test on Pottermore. And if you haven't, I'm linking the website down below for Pottermore because, oh, such a great fucking... It's, like, the official Harry Potter website, and it, like, really tells you, you know, what house you're in, your wand, your Patronus, um, all that stuff. Yeah, and we did it for our parents, too. They're both Slytherins. Isn't that hilarious? (laughs) My mom was pissed, but my dad, so happy. She's like, I'm not a Slytherin. I'm like... With that attitude you are. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, Megan and I are both Ravenclaws. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love the Game Grumps um took their um the tests on Pottermore. Um 
I forgot how long ago, like a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago. And Dan was a Ravenclaw too. And he was like reading about it. And he's like, our mascot, the eagle. He's like, uh, it's, wouldn't it be a fucking raven? Yeah. <laughs> you think? I didn't know it was an eagle it's, until it's he said... It's an eagle. That is the dumbest thing. It's like your raven claw. Yeah. What about a raven? I know. Hello? And what was Aaron? Aaron was a Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah. They're weak. I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, no. They're not weak. They're just gentle. Yeah. They're you gentle. Know? They're like... They're like six-year-olds, you know? Like, you just... You have to be gentle yes. with the six-year-olds. Oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, so we're so excited. We're... we're At some point, we're gonna go. Yep. We're planning on it. Can't wait. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. I want to do the so ride so bad. Oh, I know. Well, have fun. I can't do things like that anymore. I get motion sick. You know? Oh. I love it. I... Th- oh. Oh, I wish you would come with me. I, I want to, but it'll make me ill. I, I, know. I assure you. The last time I went on a ride, I think it was like a Ferris wheel or something. And, you know, Ferris wheels don't go terribly fast. Yeah. But, like, I don't know what it was. I just got off and it's like my stomach was in my throat. And I was like, Whoa, oh, God. I know. It was bad. So, I don't know. It's funny because my dad told me, too, that after after a while he was the same way with rides and he just couldn't do them anymore. Yeah. Might be a genetic thing. More fun genetics. Thanks, Dad. Every bad gene that i have in my body comes from him yeah that side of the fan it's like what the fuck i know you know <laughs> it's always something can't even ride rides <laughs> i'll just experience it on youtube <laughs> i know thank god for people who do that shit i know bless the people that go on rides for me because i can't experience <laughs> them yeah. myself oh uh, it sucks some of them i can yeah but, and there's a lot of good channels out there that put it in, like, low light. Yeah. You know, so you can actually see. Because, well, at the Harry Potter thing, you could take the, the Hogwarts Express or whatever. The oh, train, the train. Between the two parks. I mean, it's a train. Yeah, it's, it's a train. It's not going to make you motion sick. Well, no. But, like, it's funny because they have, like, the windows blocked off, so it looks like something... It's like screens. They look like yeah. something different. And... It's just like you see like Hagrid like greets you and you're like, Hagrid, I I love you. And it's funny because the trains are to, if you have a park, I don't know why I'm advertising this, but if you have a park (laughs) hopper pass, you could go from one park to the other by the train. Mm -hmm. So you could go from Hogsmeade to Diagon Alley in the other way. In both ways, there's a different ride experience. That's great. So... It kind of makes you want to go back and forth between parks. Yeah. So it's not like the same thing both times. Yeah. Because it's a good way. So that way you don't have to walk to fucking Islands of Adventure if you want to go from just regular Universal Studios. Yeah. It's great. You know, you could just fucking take the train Ugh. and experience Harry Potter the whole way there. And I'm like, yes, bitch. Oh, my God. It's so exciting. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Oh, dude. I've already experienced it, kind of, but, like... You oh. didn't do the train, though. No, they don't have it in California. I know. Because they only have one park. I'm. We're so excited. Laura and I... I don't know if anyone else is like this. Press one if you're like this. We are the kind of people who love planning vacations. Oh, th- like, planning anything. And we like, are planners. Yeah, and, like, packing for vacations oh. and, like, finding stuff to bring. This is this is our type A showing it, because yeah. like we make lists, we organize everything. <laughs> lists is a hard word to say. Lists. <laughs> like we organize everything, we make shopping lists, and like just like it makes me so excited to get ready to go on a vacation. Same. But then the actual travel is the worst part, like Ugh. physically getting to the vacation. But then once we're there, oh, it's fun. I know. But planning for vacations, we've always been like that. Oh, we no. pack a week before we're going. Honestly. I mean, we do. And then we don't unpack three weeks until three weeks we've been <laughs> yeah. home. Oh, man. It all just sits there. I know. I'm like, oh, yeah, all my shit is still in my suitcase. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I know. Well, I'm a little bit better about it. You're worse. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> the last time I came back from California, my bag sat in my room. For like a week and a half before I'm I was like, like Lauren, right. fucking wash your clothes. I know. No, maybe not the last time, but the first time. Yeah. I think that was it. I was like, what the fuck? I went to school all week and forgot to unpack my bag. Well, I mean, that's acceptable. So, but you know, it was just like, I look at, I'm like, why is Lauren's bag still packed? I know. Well, that was like, well, 
I was kind of the same way for a while because um, my boyfriend, before he passed away, he lived two and a half hours away from me. Yeah. And so I would go stay up there um, sometimes and, you know, for like the weekend and have to like bring a bag full of clothes and shit. Yeah. And I would sometimes just leave it in the bag because I'm like, I'm just going up there next week. Like, I'll just leave shit in there. I'm yeah. like, there's no point in taking, I mean, not clothes. Usually it was like other stuff like I'd leave in there. And I'm just like, there's no point in taking this out because I'm just going to put it back in. Yeah. Like in a few days. So I kind of get it. But you, when you come <laughs> over vacation, you act like you were going back. I know. You're like, oh, we're just going to go back, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's bad. Oh, dude. I'm going to want to fucking live at Hogsmeade when we go. Oh, my God. No, I want to live at Diagon Or Diagon Alley, Alley I mean. Like, oh. I mean, Hogsmeade's great, too. But Diagon Alley, I really cannot wait to go. I want to use... They have, like, interactive wands. Yeah, we have to buy them. Because they have... Okay, they have two different kinds of wands. You could get just, like, the collector's kind. Which Lauren got me one. Just, yeah. I think I got... No, I only got two. I have Sirius Black's wand. Yeah. And, and you, then I got Megan a Death Theater wand. And it had, like, this ornate skull on it. I'm like, that's the one Megan's gonna want. So that's the one I'm getting. Although I really wanted the Snape wand. But your shitty soul-sucking ex-boyfriend, who should have gotten the Death Theater wand because he's a soul-sucking cunt, <laughs> took that one instead. Jeez. So. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I mean, I agree, but my God. <laughs> I wanted the Snape wand. So when I go back, I'm getting the Snape wand. Okay. So <laughs> it's going to be fine. <laughs> Anyone else's moms ever talked to them like that through gritted teeth? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, you, uh, you knew some shit was about to happen. She's like, get in your room now. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, my God. It makes my skin crawl. I fucking hate it. I know. She would like get like right in my ear and fucking do it. Too. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I wanted to punch her in the face. <laughs> I love my mom, but I just don't like when people do that. I know. But I know because I want to get the Snape wand. Oh, and then there's the uh, the interactive wands are like. Yes. Yeah, so when you go there. Yeah. How does it work again? When you go there, there's certain stations where you can use the wand. And That's right. Things will happen. Like you wave the wand and um, like in a store window and like the things move. And like there's people who work there that like tell you how to do it. And there's like yeah. spots and stuff. So. I know. I really want to do. I really want to get that would one. be fun. I know it's really bad for like kids, but Laura and I are oh, like, fuck it. We're like overgrown we grew, children. Okay. The first Harry Potter book came out when I was seven years old. Yeah. We grew up with that shit. True. You know, in the fact that, and I love this too. The one in California did this, like the employees, if you wear the robes, they're like, welcome back students. I wanted to cry. I'm like, I'm officially part of Hogwarts. <laughs> Can't even tell you how many days I waited when I was 11 years old to get my fucking letter in the mail that said, you've been accepted to Hogwarts witchcraft and I would have fucking died. Oh my God. I would have screamed. I would have flew out of the house on a broomstick. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> or the flying car. Oh, I love the flying car. That's my favorite one. The Chamber of Secrets. Me the too. second one. It's our, it's our favorite. Because it's just innocent enough that it's still like lighthearted and fun, but it's also like creepy really creepy and like when it started to get dark so. is that one of the cats oh yeah oh yeah that's, that's one of them oh god she's probably hungry should we <laughs> fucking go feed them yeah a little bit <laughs> all right well i th oh my god oh she's my really goodness. wailing should i let her in no there's cords all over the all place right. well she's gonna keep me owing <laughs> i hear you i'm coming all right, looks like we're ending this one early. Yeah, putting in Uncle Acid. We're putting in Uncle Acid because Lauren wants Uncle Acid. Yep. So, so 13 yep. Candles. Okay. It's a great song. Well, we're going to do that. Yeah. I'll put in the whole know. song because we this might be a little bit short. Yeah. But, yeah, we just wanted to bullshit and talk about stuff we found interesting and, you yeah. know, things we saw this week, another bullshit episode. But... Yeah, yeah, I have to go attend to cats now. Yeah, now we have to go attend to cats and be <laughs> cat parents. So. I know. Maybe we'll talk more about it another day, but yeah. we really do want to go back. Yeah, we're going to go back at some point and, you know, we're going to we're gonna live our fucking Harry Potter lives. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. Well, definitely do a podcast about that when that happens. Oh, I know. So. All, All right. right. All right. Thank you for joining us on this. And next <laughs> week... Oh my god, next week we have another guest. Oh yeah, we're having another and guest. It's gonna be in person and it's gonna be great. Oh yeah. And we won't say who it is yet, but you'll find out next week. Someone that we have known for many years and is near and dear to us. So yes. 
have a lot be. of experience with. Yes. We're going to be telling a lot of... You want to talk about stories. Oh, oh get ready. The, next week's going to be a pretty long It's going to be a pretty loaded episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... But. All right, everyone. All right. Thanks for joining us this week. See you next week All right. for some more fun stuff. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.